Alex from WMD here, and today I'm going to show you a patch using two of the WMD multi-mode envelopes to create some drum sounds out of other modules. For the kick drum, we are using a sine wave from the PDO running through the Micro Hadron Collider as well as the Digital VCA. One multi-mode envelope is molted and then sent to both the Digital VCA's CV end and the cutoff frequency of the Hadron. A unique feature of the multi-mode envelope is its double attack modes. For the kick drum, we are using ADAR mode in which the envelope will attack and decay down to the sustain level. Once the envelope reaches the sustain level, the envelope will attack again and then release. In the case of this patch, that accounts for the kick drum being hit twice for each trigger. We are using the grayscale algorithm to trigger the bass drum pattern and it's only sending one trigger signal per two bass drum hits. For the snare, we decided to try something a little different. We've got the SSF Quantum Rainbow sending four different colors of noise to the four inputs of the sequential switch matrix, which is being stepped through rapidly by the 4MS shuffling clock multiplier and its breakout. We are only using one output of the SSM in order to get a sort of fluttering noise sound. The output of the SSM goes to a separate input of the digital VCA with the other multi-mode envelope controlling it in ADSR mode. The multi-mode envelope in this case is being triggered by half notes on the ProModular clock, which we are using as our master clock for this patch. Occasionally, I'll mute the clock multiplier and the SSM will lock to one matrix to halt the fluttering sound. I'll also play with the four times fast switch on the SEM breakout to make the flutter slower and more textural. As for the hi-hat, we only have two envelopes in the rack, so we just use the Hex Inverter Mutant hi-hat for 16th note textures about halfway through. Alright, let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> 